friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a totally unedited real time surgery of a uh, diabetic cataract the patient is suffering from diabetes for the last 14 years and the patient is also taking temsulosin for prostate gland disease for the last 3 years we can see that the pupil is mid dilated and during surgery we will also see that the iris is floppy this is phenocaine and this is adrenaline and now i am filling off the anterior chamber with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose And now a side port is being made. The main wound has been made by a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome, and this is a side port of about 1.6 millimeter width by a lens tip knife. And now capsulorexis is being done with the help of the ureta forceps. The tip of the ureta forceps pierces the capsule. a capsular tag is raised and this capsular tag is being guided along the border of the pupil to get an adequate size trexis of about 5.5 mm and now hydrodissection is done with bases and this is a 27 gauss cannula and see the pupil has began to become small inject visco and the people dilates uh, again and now my plan is to breach off this nucleus into four pieces the breach up is placed here the sustainer hooks the opposite equator to two instruments are brought to each other and lateral separation and we get two hemineuclei rotate it 90 degree place the breach upper here the sustainer goes to the opposite equator and we get four fragments come out and now my plan is to manage this nucleus single handedly without using the a uh, side port much very little use of side port if it is necessary uh, i think if it is very much necessary only that time i use the side port so here goes the hand piece i pick up on quadrant and emulsify this nuclear piece and as i emulsify the nuclear piece you can see that the iris is dancing means the iris is floppy the people is becoming small sometimes sometimes little and large because of the pressure of the irrigation and this is the last nuclear piece at this time i go and support the chunk so that the fecal needle remains on the chunk and doesn't touch the posterior capsule and i come out in floppy iris we should remove the hand piece first and then the chopper and now i am removing the cortex with the help of this 23 gauss simco cannula so the removal of cortex is in progress 
as I said the patient is on tamsulosin for prostate gland disease. Once a patient is on tamsulosin, a uh, stoppage of tamsulosin for some days uh, doesn't cause any benefit in surgery. So the patient should not be told to stop tamsulosin. And now see what happens as I try to do hydroimplantation. See the iris has come to the side port as well as to the side port as well as to the main port and you can make out that hydroimplantation is not a good idea in IFIS in intraoperative, intraoperative floppy iris syndrome. So I fill up the bag and the uh, anterior chamber with visco and last the main owned a bit by point on millimeter or point two and implant the intraocular lens in the capsular bag. The lens is rotated and the haptics are placed at 2 o'clock and 8 o'clock meridian. And now I use the Simco to irrigate and remove the visco that is 2% ASPMC. I go behind the intraocular lens and irrigate the capsular bag. After using the Simco for some time, I use the bimanual irrigation aspiration. At this time, first I went in with the irrigation and there was some so I went with the aspiration first and then used irrigation and aspiration together for some time. This ensures thorough cleaning of visco from the anterior chamber, from anterior chamber angle and from the capsular bag. We have to go behind the intraocular lens irrigate and aspirate for removal of visco from behind the lens that is posterior to the lens in the capsular bag. And now after cleaning visco the side port is closed by stromal hydration and this is a final lavage of the anterior chamber with 2 percent with BSS. Anterior chamber is nicely formed. Integrity of all the wounds are checked. Few drops of moxie is applied over the ocular surface, and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy, and great surgical competence.